What's going on you guys? It's your boy Donair aka Revedon. Today's video will be how to get lean for summer. So stay tuned for more guys. <laughs> Let's go ahead and start it off by saying thank you very much for clicking on this video. As of today, May 20... 28... May 2018... What? Is it 2018? Wait, it is 2018. May 18, guys. Sorry about that. I have, I have been a little bit busy there. I forgot what day is. Uh, it's supposed to be summer, but actually it's raining in California. As you guys can see here, I don't know about you guys, but do you guys, do you guys like the rain? Go ahead and comment below and below if you guys like rain or not. As many of you guys know, I have been working out for one year, one year full of excitement. I have learned a lot through this uh, process of not just, you know, building a, a nice body, but also building a mentality. Today I'll be going and sharing my knowledge that I have learned through my one year of fitness. So stay tuned. All right, since nobody's perfect here, and I'm still developing that skill to be talking in front of the camera more comfortable, I have wrote written notes here. So if you see me looking down, it's because I'm actually looking at the notes uh, to better deliver stuff for you guys. So, and I'm gonna go ahead and divide this by five sections. In those five sections, I'll be talking about what uh, you need to do and what I think it's the best uh, way to uh, get the body that you need. All right, section one will be identifying what body type you are, and this can vary up to the visual. Since I can't really see you, I'm gonna go ahead and divide it by three body types. One will be skinny, the other one will be skinny fat, and the third one will be overweight. If you don't, if you don't know what body type you are, I'll go ahead and put provide a link below down in the description. You can just put the number, what age, um, how much you weigh, and how much how's your height. Plug those in and then it will tell you if you're on the way. This will determine what your diet is and your workout plan. So make sure you what your body type is because you can't re really build a house without a blueprint. You can't really go out somewhere without directions. So make sure you know what the body type is unless you already know, which is good since you are watching this video. So, so it's really important to have a game plan when it comes to uh, fitness. This will go ahead and lead to section two, so stay tuned. There's two kinds of protocols that you should know. Which one will you fit in? That depends on you. Protocol number one will be a caloric surplus. Protocol number two will be a caloric deficit. Caloric surplus is you eat more than what you burn. Caloric deficit is you eat less than what you burn. For example, surplus is uh, my calories are 2,500. If I eat 3,000 calories, 500 calories are stored in my body. Uh, caloric deficit, my uh, my normal calorie is 2,500, then I'll go ahead and drop it down to uh, 2,000 under the maintenance calorie intake on your daily. So that's a little bit of the difference between surplus and caloric deficit. Things that I recommend for the surplus people will be going on a high protein diet. Um, one gram of protein per body uh, mass. So high protein and for you guys will be, uh, same thing as well, I recommend you to take protein because Protein does promote uh, fat loss as well and building muscle because it's really about the carbs out, carbs in for the caloric deficit people. So if you fall in that category, make sure you eat less than what you burn and also using cardio as a tool to able to burn down calories. Once you find out what body type you are and knowing what, if you are surplus or caloric deficit, then you will move to the next uh, section will be with section three. Section three will be creating a workout plan. For example, my surplus people, since you're skinny, I want you guys to focus more on going heavy on the lows, but remember, focus on form and full rank of motion. Do not sacrifice reps for forms. Make sure you do a way you feel comfortable doing at the gym. You guys don't have to do as much cardio. It's up to you guys if you guys want to use cardio, but not necessarily. I'm a caloric desk fed. I'll go ahead and recommend you guys, you guys to hit cardio at least two to three times per week. 
high intensity cardio such as HIIT. Stir machine is good for you for, for fat loss, but mainly for you guys will be watching your diet primary. I would say as go heavy on the lows, but focus on form as well. So both caloric deficit and surplus, I would recommend you guys to either do um, workout two muscles per day. That means push full day and leg day. And maybe another day will be a full day, full upper body listen to your body it's very important that you don't work out muscles that you normally work out day before make sure you rest them at least 48 hours at least 48 hours do not overstretch those uh, muscles let them rest because that's the important part as much as working out is resting make sure you are resting as well as avoiding sugar drinks bread and also fast food. Do not stress out too much. Life is too precious to be stressing out. Be thankful for what you have, what you don't have. Also as well, it's very important to get a good night's sleep for you guys. Have a good night's sleep because it's very important to rest, let your body recover. Section number five will be, be consistent going to the gym sticking with your workout plan with your meal plan because a change don't happen overnight you gotta be patient do not over do not wait yourself every day do not wait yourself every week do it every month that way you will see the process that you're doing if you lack of motivation find something that motivates you you should listen to motivational speech that's what i like listening to every time before i go to the gym and punch me up i won't feel like want to work out hard as, as hard as i can when I'm listening because it motivates me. Find something that motivates you. Gym is a therapy, guys. It's it's something that ha can change your life. So make sure you guys stay motivated and be determined on your goal. All right, guys, that concludes uh, today's video. If you find this helpful, please smash the like button and subscribe to my channel. We'll do a lot of support, guys. So thank you very much for watching and have a wonderful day, guys. Stay tuned.